Welcome to Urban Data Modeler tutorial. In this session, I'll be discussing about indexes or key groups. Uh, in logical model, we call indexes as key groups. A primary key is called a primary key in logical, and a unique index in physical model means alternate key in logical, and a non unique index means an inversion entry in logical model. So I'll right click an entity here and go for key group properties and an index on the primary key is already created and based on the type here uh, Irwin already automatically creates the name of the index as X prefix with X the type of the key and the name of the entity so if I create one more uh, index a unique index on it, it does the same thing like it followed the naming convention for primary key and I create one more non-unique index and it follows the same naming convention if I don't use any macros the name the key group name is same as the index name but my naming convention for index uh, may be different and that's where uh, the macro comes into picture so for now I'll just let this be here I don't have actually a candidate in my attribute which can fit in the alternate key uh, but I'll just let it be there so that I can show you uh, in macros so I click close here and I'm moving to f the physical model and I'm clicking the student again here going to index properties and here you see from logical to physical the naming is of course different and the way and the where we have done it is if it's a non-unique index I create one more uh, non-unique index and based on the key type it's actually taking the number from here and using that in here in the name of the index and if it's an alternate key it also has this UK and the number from the key is put in here and all this is done using a macro and I'll go through a macro now okay and the macro is here and this is the macro and I have placed this macro under uh, actions Let me close this window I go to actions model naming options and I go to the name mapping and in here I pasted this macro and to go uh, very quickly over the macro this is a switch um, statement or, or a case statement you can say and I'm getting the key type and by key type I mean uh, let me go to the logical I go to key groups okay this is the key type this column is the key type and I'm accessing that key type here and I'm getting the first two characters and based on the first two characters I'm saying what the name of the index should be and for if it's an alternate key I'm saying okay uh, the X underscore the table name underscore UK and then I'm getting the third and the fourth character if present in here Uh, so that's how we can use um, the macros uh, to enforce the database naming standards uh, on the key groups uh, and uh, get the corresponding index name uh, for our database. Uh, with this I can conclude uh, the session on indexes and thanks for watching.